Today we talking kicks. Yo man, uh, welcome back. If you haven't already, please hit that like button, subscribe, and please comment down below. Uh, we like conversation around here. Without further ado, let's get to the kicks. The Raised by Women are Jordan 3. Truly a work of art, just a, a beautiful sneaker. If you were going to replace the elephant print, you had to come with Lux materials. And uh, these, this truly did not disappoint. The patented I'm on my year logo, um, just a beautiful touch. Then your, your patented Jumpman logo on the right tongue. Really, really feeling the vintage look of this sneaker, man. It's just like the neutral tones. I'm here for it. Yeah, it gives it a classic look. The quilted material, man, on the sock liner. Beautiful touch um, and amazing to the touch. <laughs> Typical hang tags, your Nike and your Ama Manier. The patented quality goods handled with care and also inspired by street culture, fashion, and the greatest athlete in history. On the bottom, nothing special, you know, typical Jordan 3 bottom. Just wanted to get y'all to look at it. All we have is each other, a life's mantra. And in this life, you have to get comfortable walking along. And just the detailing on the on the heel tab with this Nike ass, like real thick, the... The stitching is, is quality, just, man, it's overall amazing shoe, like, not too many more words can describe it. Always remember, even if you're working hard, you can always work harder. Love these subtle touches, all the subtle touches on this shoe is just really hit home. Inspiring. These shoes truly are a work of art. You could tell the precision and the care and the... Just everything that went into them on every intricate level of the design. Beautiful, beautiful shoe. So, yeah, this man, this sneaker just truly hits home. It, it, it resonates in a very deep way. Joined by a very special guest on my last podcast episode. Um, we explored what this, what this drop means, um, not only to the sneaker community, but just in general. Love this shoe. Um, love this shoe beyond the moon like it's it's i call it a grill i don't well actually i think calling it a grill would 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 the greatest um is because it's more than that the significance of this shoe the symbolism of this shoe the meaning behind this shoe cannot go understated or undervalued i think that sometimes in this community we look at stuff just for the material um, just for the resale value, just for the cloud, just to say we got it. I don't think that we take the time to truly appreciate what we do have, what we acquire. Um, and I had a moment like that today. Um, not about these shoes in particular, but just in my collection period. This release will always go down in history. It will always be a, restore, a historical moment for myself. This release will always be a very historical moment in time. What the Whitaker Group accomplished with this shoe, man, is is crazy. I I know for a fact we've never seen anything like this before, and I don't believe we will ever see anything like this again. Like when it comes to sneakers, when it comes to the story of a shoe, I don't believe we will ever come close to a sneaker that has so much value that that has so much weight that that resonates as deeply as this one and i'm I'm speaking for myself i mean i could be totally wrong but for myself i i don't think that i will ever see another shoe that just means as much to me and that's me loving the red october yeezy that's me you know my favorite silhouette of all time is the air max one 
that's me saying that the Jordan 3 is my favorite Air Jordan of all time. It's just like, and then that tied into it. And then knowing that that was the very, the inspiration behind this sneaker was that James, James's mother, this was the very first pair of Jordans that she bought for him. Or I believe it was either she bought them for him or he worked for, that was the very first pair of Jordans he ever had. And so, man, like, you know, it just, it just drives it home even further. What James is doing in the sneaker community, and not just the community, period, just in society as a whole, um, should also not go undervalued or understated. Like, if you pay attention, sneakers are the segue. Sneakers are the bridge. Sneakers are the connector. Um, sneakers are... Or just the, the 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 vessel, but the main thing, the meat of it all, is so much bigger, so much more than the sneakers, so much more than the material that we wrap around our feet and take pictures of, so much more than the conversation around L's and W's. Like, is so much more. And if you pay attention to the Whitaker Group, if you pay attention to James Whitner, you will definitely see. That is more than sneakers. Um, <laughs> crazy man. Like I, I just I opened the box and I really couldn't fully appreciate this shoe. I really couldn't. And then when I when I just took some time, I, I let it I let it marinate for a few days. I just I just looked at them. I just processed and it just brought up so many memories um, from my childhood, being raised by beautiful women. By my mother, by my grandmother, by my auntie mamas. <laughs> you know, that's I just made that up. <laughs> my auntie mamas. Um, because we all have those aunties that serve as, you know, other mothers. Mothers when your your mother cannot be there or is not there or maybe your mom's is, was at work slaving away and your auntie stepped up. But I have several auntie mamas that are, you know, blood and also from the church, um, from extended family that are just as deeply built as blood relationships. And so when I think of the name of this shoe raised by women, like, you know, it's just, it just hits differently, man. And I hope that whoever got these shoes, take the time to just sit and think about that. Um, take the time to think on, what this shoe really symbolizes, what this shoe truly means, the value of this shoe, not the dollar amount, not the dollar amount, but what it means to them in their life. Um, and just process it. You don't have to share it on the Internet. You don't have to share it with anybody else, but just just feel that because it's not it's more than the material that we have in our hands It's more than the material that we see this shoe, man. Woman, ladies, gentlemen, is is more than the sneaker of the year. This is one of the best sneakers to ever release. Whether you're an OG, whether you just started yesterday collecting shoes, it's one of the greatest sneakers. It's one of the greatest moments in sneakers of all time. And I just hope that it has not fallen upon deaf ears and deaf hearts. And deaf minds um, that 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 don't that won't take the time to truly appreciate and understand that. I mean, I was I was blessed to secure mine before release day, and I I still attempted for some some loved ones to to cop another pair online, and even going through that process with Shopify, like it was it was it was amazing. Like I didn't hit, I know of uh, two or three people that did, I wasn't able to, but. It was just like the precision of this release from the beginning to the end. And again, I spoke about that on the podcast was just so it was just it was just an amazing experience. And I'm glad that the women, the so many women were able to get their hands on a pair. So, yeah, man, I went off a little bit. Um, I'm glad I was able to show you the sneakers. If you still here with me, they are. Definitely my sneaker of the year and beyond. Just they they 
amazing shoe. Thank you for tuning in again. Um, if you have not already, please hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below. Like, what are your thoughts on this shoe?